Okay, amazing to have you here once again, guys. Today we are looking at the concept of serialization and deserialization. While we're looking at this, it's very important that we are able to convert from a data from one form to another in uh, in in the in the programming languages. So the concept of serialization basically is very simple to understand but before we proceed i would you kindly like and subscribe to the channel we have great content here that we keep you going going your programming journey so what is realization basically the concept of serialization is just a process of converting a python dictionary object to a portable json format what do we mean by that Basically, uh, JSON simply stands for JavaScript Object Notation. So we want to when we when we say when we store data, basically we store it in a format that can be accessed or that is portable or that uh, can be used by other programming languages. So if you want to if you have a python object file or a python dictionary object then it cannot be used by other languages such as java c and other programming language basically so for other programming language to be able to assess or use that data you have to convert it to a form that is compatible with such languages so Basically, that is the process of serialization. So when you convert that data to a form, to a portable JSC format that can be accessed, then you are, attend, you are um, doing serialization, basically. So for serialization, there are basically two functions that help. You have the dumps and the dump. I'll talk about that. Uh, later on in the video and again uh, there's a, the, a second concept which is the concept of deserialization but before we look at this before we look at this quickly we are going to be doing this in our Jupyter notebook so um, after a while we jump back here to write out the Code. We are going to jump back to write the code here on Jupyter Notebook. So let me just quickly explain the concept. Again, the second concept here is this realization. We said we made mention that we convert a Python, a Python uh, object into a portable JSON format um, using functions such as dumps and dump. That's the process of serialization. But when you want to reconvert that um, JC string back to a Python object file, then that process is called deserialization. So when you are reconverting the serialized file, which is the Python, which is the JC string back to Python object, then you are um, doing deserialization. You you will use um, two functions, the loads. And the load function. Uh, let me just say something before I proceed. There are two modules, or basically more than two, there are more, but basically uh, two are very common that are used in the process of serialization and of course deserialization. That is the JSON module. I explained what JSON stands for earlier, JavaScript object notation the JSON module and the pickle module. So in this uh, video, we are looking at, we're going to be using JSON module to um, carry out to perform um, this serialization and deserialization. So basically, this is uh, what deserialization is. I will kind of explain further. I have you for you this. So I, I wrote this out in a diagram to illustrate what I've talked about. So you can see this is a Python dictionary object. When you try to convert it to a JC string, so that process is called serialization. And these are the two functions that help you perform serialization. So you have a JC string here. So you want to convert it back 
to this Python dictionary object, which is called deserialization, and you have the loads and the load function, which help you do that. Like I said, I will explain, I'll talk more about this uh, functions is uh, dumps and dump and load and load function later in uh, in the video so before we do any other thing let's jump into our code blocks let me expand this so that we can you know it will not seems that we are just um talking we are not writing the code so let's write a code to show what we are saying it's just uh, basically a simple program that displays student if also um, I'll just say student equal or like a string so I'll do student I'll have just some basic information about this student I'll have the name and I'll call that let's say the name is Paul so I'll put a comma because I have to continue the string so then I'll do age let's say Paul is uh, 27 years old you can see there's a difference between this is a string but for age for age here the variable is what is an integer so that is why this is not in a quote if you want to know why we didn't put a quote there so the next one uh, just do um, let's say the fee the fee then um, let's say 10 bucks 10,000 bucks put a comma then I have another let's say is portal tall because you should know that um this is a boolean so tall that's true then um let's have another just one more so spot on a car on car then i'll go ahead to spot on a car then i'll put um none it doesn't on the car so because um this last one does it have to take the comma okay just like that so yeah then i'll come back here i'll do this so this is just a basic student information okay or attribute of this student so so basically we want to serialize this python dictionary object to a jc string or a jc format so I'll create a variable called JC string and I'll do JSON dot dumps. First, I will explain this, then I'll pass this student um, class to that. Then I'll go ahead, uh, the student object I'll pass to that. So I'll go ahead and print. What am I printing? I want to print the jc string which is this this jc string a variable which has which i created so jc string print jc string so of course um is this all correct no we are forgetting something we have to import the jc module like i said earlier uh, you need to import a module and this time we are using JSC module so basically what is a module if you want to ask what is a module a module is more like a pre-written code that you can use in another file so there are some code that are pre-written they are inbuilt into um, the language the Python language so JSON is one of them so it's more like a library all right once you, when you need it you import it and you use it in your file or in your program others are user defined they are written by the users and can be you referenced in other files some are built into the system into the language so json is one of them 
You remember I mentioned Pico the other time is also a module. So that is basically what a module is. So we import this JSON module. So we want to serialize this um, data into a form that can be accessed by, let's say, Java, C, and basically other programming language. And so what this dump is doing is the function that helps us to serialize this data. So dumps, dumps basically is different from dump, D-O-M-P, like I said earlier, because, uh, sorry, I will explain the concept earlier. So dumps is different. So for this, when we are converted to from a Python dictionary object to a JSON string, we use dumps. But when we want to convert from a Python dictionary object to uh, a, a file, a, J, a file, we want to convert uh, that JSON string to a file, then we use dump. So I will explain uh, this better. So just uh, put that in one hand. Let's just first run this file to see what we have. So if we have this, if I do shift enter, I run. So as you can see, it's going to successfully run this program and it's going to print out this. So you can see it's going to output this. So for what we have here, basically what we have here, I want you to take note that this is now a JC string. This is now a JC string and can be used by uh, it's no longer specific to Python, it can be used by other languages. So I want you to spot some differences here. I want you to look at it and spot some differences. If you see what we have here, um, this attribute tall is a cap, but this in, in converting this is going to change um, to true to um, the lowercase letter T, as you can see. And if you, if you look at this, we have this attribute on car which is null so a none none but here is going to change to what null so that has basically the um, little differences i want you to take note while converting from a dictionary object a python dictionary object into a js string basically so uh, basically that is that so have we done this? We could go ahead to basically deserialize this same data back to the Python um, object, the Python dictionary object. Okay, but before we do that, let me explain the concept of dumps and dump load and load, which are the function that helps in serialization and deserialization. Okay, like we said earlier, dumps is a function, dumps and dump are function that are used in serialization process. So dumps help serialize Python object to a JC string, as you can see. So serialize Python object to a JC string. This is the one we used earlier uh, while we are serializing that data. Then we have the other one, which is the dump, which convert this is different from dumps. Because for this, it converts a Python object to a JSON and write that JSON data to uh, a JSON file. So it serializes to a file. That's the difference. It writes it to a file. So that's how that is different between dumps and dumps. So this will write whatever you are giving it, it will write it to a file. So then we have the other ones, loads and load. For this, it's used in the deserialization, basically. And what it does, it's going to convert a JC string to a Python dictionary object, like the reverse of the uh, serialization. So, and you have the last one, which is load. It reads from a file and convert to a Python dictionary object. So anytime we are talking about file, then we have load for deserialization and dump for serialization. Anytime we are converting from a JSON from a, dictionary, a Python dictionary object to 
you know, a, a JC string, then we talk about dumps and we talk about loads. So take note of this. So let's jump back and complete our the program. So we have this, we have to see that in serializes, serializing this data to what? To a JC string. So what we want to do now, we want to deserialize the data back to the original form we have here. So let's let's do that. So what I'll do, I'll just we put this file here. Sorry. Just put this file and I'll paste it here just like this. I'll paste it here. So again, it's going to be a string. So I'll put this quote because it's going to be a string. So I'll use this single quote. So uh, then I want to use my student this time as the as the all right my student just like that then sorry I don't need this okay all right, my student, take note we are deserializing this data, so uh, I'll do dictionary object. That's what we want to convert it to this JC file. This is already a JC file. So I'll do json.load, like we explained earlier, load help reconvert from a Python um, dictionary, a Python file to a Python object. So my student, all right. So I'll go ahead to print, print what? Print dictionary object, which is what we are converting to. All right. Is it complete? Not yet, because we have not imported JSON. So I'll come here. I'll do import. import json just like so i'll have this so we are using loads take notes then yeah so um if everything is nicely written so i'll go ahead to run it shift enter of course it's going to run so look at what we have here it's going to convert this back to the form it was earlier so if you look at what we have here and check what we have now you discover that they are the same exactly the same thing so if you look at it um true we return back to uppercase true then on car none exactly what we have here and every other information are the same so this is the process of deserialization just like we have this is it the realization for this process then we went back to deserialize this data back to what to the python uh, object just like this so um thank you for watching please like and subscribe i'll see you in the next one